if you've been following me since my channel started around a year ago, you would have seen my walking wardrobe video. I'll leave the link to that below. It was one of my very first videos. And at the end of the video, I popped this room on the end of it. I feel like not too much has changed, but I feel like maybe a lot of people missed my beauty room because it was literally just an add-on of the walk-in wardrobe. So a year on, I thought I'd do a video just for this room because every day when I do my makeup in here, well, the days that I do my makeup, I literally can't believe it because I grew up in a bedroom this wide. So much smaller than this room. And it was one of my dreams to have a makeup room like this. And I feel so lucky to have it. And it's really special and I want to share it with you. So I'll give you a quick little tour and then I'm going to talk you through basically how I organise my makeup and my beauty products. I shut my eyes trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Step away till you hear what I'm saying. So this is the little area outside my beauty room. There used to be a chaise lounge here, but it's now downstairs. Was there a chaise lounge here? No, there was a sofa. So now I just have this fluffy footstool because um, I'm not sure what to do with that. But this is the beauty room. So this is my main station and well, let's just get the reflection out of the way because I'm sure you're going to see me in the mirror. This is just like an everyday outfit that I wear at home. And I'm just using my like vlogging camera to film this. So, it's very hot in here as well. So, this is my workstation. And I'll just talk you through each setup that I have. I knew I wanted to have an acrylic table like this. I kind of didn't really know what I was going to get. I thought I'd just, all I could find was just like a normal table and then I was going to get boxes to put down the side. And I kind of wasn't really happy with that so I literally just searched the internet and unfortunately for everybody watching, because I do get a lot of messages on Snapchat, this was found on eBay. I paid £140 for it and then £40 for it to be shipped. Um, it's a little bit like too green and then what I would like but I really love it it has so much storage it's just so unique these were like black candles and I just changed them for crystal because that looks a lot nicer and whenever I spill anything you know it's just so durable my mirror is from illuminated mirrors and it actually took me a long time to find something like this and you can dim the lights on this knob here so you can have it more like this, or you can have them completely off. It's actually quite dark outside, so. Um, this mirror is really amazing for selfies. It's, it makes your eyes really bright, and it's like a white light. You can get them with a warm light, and all different options, and these come in all different sizes. I've also got one of these at my flat as well, and you can also get them mounted. So I really recommend these mirrors for your makeup and if you're one for selfies. Next up here, I normally have like a few of my favorite pieces at the moment. So at the moment, I'm loving By Terry Lip Balm, Becca Under Eye, Giorgio Armani um, Brow, the Hourglass Primer, which is, oh, it smells divine. Blink uh, eyebrow oil because I have to put it out otherwise I forget to, to put it on. Some of my favourite lipsticks, MAC Doa, MAC Driftwood. This is the one I have on today. This is, what is this one called? Oh, Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Absolutely love this. And um, that's not focusing. And another really natural lipstick from By Terry. This is my second one of these. This is such a lovely natural kind of rosy colour and I'll, I think it's called Nudissimo or something, I'll leave the links to everything and then my favourite foundation which is the Hourglass foundation and the Biotary serums. I keep some cotton pads here because I always need to use them when I'm doing my makeup. Then over here on the left I have all of my brushes so in here in these CC cups this is all my eyebrow pencils. 
You'll notice that I have a lot of the same thing, but we need options. Depends what brow mood I'm in. Here I have all my brushes. I tend to wash my brushes at the minimum twice a week because I really notice a difference in my breakouts if I don't keep my brushes clean. I love these artist brushes. If you're looking for a cheaper option, the new look ones are actually pretty good. I normally take those ones out and I'm a huge fan of the, the By Terry brushes. I have a couple in there. I have this blusher one which is like an angled blusher brush. So I'm a massive brush whore, I love brushes. Um, and then I have a close-up mirror, which I think is really important for when you're doing your eyebrows um, and anything like that. Okay, top jaw. By the way, I haven't cleaned this whatsoever. This is just how it is because um, I like to keep everything quite organised. So, scissors, because it's just one of those things that always go missing. I used to have a pair in there, but they've gone missing. Here are all my MAC lipsticks. Here are all my lip liners. I kind of stick to the same ones. My favourite is probably Whirl by MAC. Um, I love Spice by MAC. I love Rimmel, West End, no, East End Snob. So there are a few of my favourites. In the left side, I have like bright lipsticks, but I never ever wear bright lipsticks. So this is, I bet you this is a nude, yep. So um, it's overflowing with nude lipsticks. I love the packaging of um, Givenchy lipsticks. And on the right hand side is all my nude lips, which, God, I love a nude lip. I've literally got so many, but I've just shown you a few of my favorites. So that's the lip glosses, um, lipsticks. Second drawer, I have to be careful with this one because it is so overflowing. Second drawer, I have all of my, what I call face products. So I have foundations. Um, these are two of my favorites at the moment. The Armani. I have the Chanel kind of um, illuminating serum. I love that. This is new from NARS. I'm just basically showing you a few of my favourite products here. Laura Mercier Under Eye Powder. Um, you would have seen this in one of my hauls recently. So many favourite products in here. So that's why I keep all my face products. That drawer is so heavy. Third drawer is my nail products. If you'd watch my How I Save for Luxury videos, you will know that I always do my own nails. I really enjoy doing it. Um, so I have lots of nail products. These I just buy from the nail salon if I go there every couple of months. Um, it's weird how much I enjoy doing that. And there's normally pretty much lots of different nudes or red because that's pretty much all I wear. So that's the left side, and then we'll come over to the right. On the right hand side, I have all of my eye products. It's crazy how much I can, it's just crazy. So two of my favorite um, palettes at the moment is this by Terry one. I love how matte the shades are. And then I have this NARS loaded one. And I love burn oranges and browns for blue eyes. I think it really makes my eyes really blue. So they're two of my favourites at the moment. Favourite mascara, I think it's actually at my flat, is the Dior Pump and Volume. Absolutely love that mascara and I'm also loving this Givenchy primer. It's literally phenomenal and I can't live without my MAC eye primer. So just a few of my, this is a makeup headband that you all know very well that I never use because I like to use knickers. Second drawer, this is also overflowing. This, I seem to have lost all my lids. Okay, this is how unprepared I am. I can't even get this open. So this is all my hair products. Um, probably my favorite hair, one of my favorite hair products is this Shure Mira serum. Absolutely love that. I'm a fan of L'Oreal hair products. I have um, volume mousse, always a L'Oreal hairspray. Um, I've got conditioning treatments in there, brushes and rollers. And the last beauty drawer is my hair products. So in here I have my personalised hair dryer, which is so fantastic. Um, my favourite two brushes, um, the Bauman one and this Mason Pearman, I think it's called. And then my GHD tongs and straighteners. So um, over here, this is my travel Givenchy... Um, what do you call one of those? 
my toiletry bag, I guess. I take this travel in, um, and at the moment I have some new by Terry skincare, which I haven't tried yet. Up here I have my perfumes. So this used to be just this used to be just my perfumes, but it kind of got a bit raided with because I use all this every single day and every night. It's just better for me to have it on display. So my skincare is normally Le Mer. I use these products every single day, and then if I'm doing, I use hand cream every day as well, especially because I do my nails so much. And then I just have some primer creams, some eye cream, and like some masks. Basically, here you can see the things that I use every single day. Um, and then some more beauty products at the back. I've got some bridesmaids pictures. This is me in my evening dress on my wedding day. Me in my wedding dress. Makes me so happy just having them on the side. And in case you were wondering, this is my favourite perfume at the moment. It's, I can't pronounce it, um, it's Givenchy. It's so beautiful. i tell you why I like it, because it reminds me of this, which is the perfume, this exact bottle is the perfume that Paris bought me, my first present. He bought me it when I went to the south of France to see him. And this whole smell just reminds me of like the honeymoon period that we first have. And I'm so scared to use it that I've still got a lot left. And it's really hard to find, but this is my all-time favorite perfume. So a few of my favorite perfumes. In these drawers, this is my fake tan drawer. Okay, so I have a bit of a um, overload on the mitts because I ran out the other day and I don't really live near a shop, so I bought a few. And then I have like, just a few of my favorite. I haven't actually tried this one, um, but this is my favorite at the moment and I really like the Santa Fe one. The rest of all these drawers, I'm embarrassed to say, are literally bikinis, 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 bikinis. It goes on and on. It just goes on and on. What else do we have? Over here, I have, I always have a candle burning when I'm doing my makeup. In here, I have some holiday skincare. Wait until you see this drawer. This is my eyelash drawer. And I love eyelashes, I'm just not very good do at doing them, they really frustrate me. Because um, it, it can sometimes ruin my makeup, I'm scared to open this because I've no idea what's in there. Oh, pyjamas. Um, and I'm not going to show you in here, I'm afraid, because it has nothing to do with beauty, it's still a mess inside there. I have like a sewing machine in there, I have um, curtains, I have my wedding dress, and then all here is just gym and bikinis. So. It's an absolutely great storage place and if I ever get more makeup I'll definitely be putting them in these drawers. On here I literally, this is literally, this is how my room is every every day, like bar deliveries everywhere. So this is a new delivery that I had, this is the NARS um, Casino and Orgasm. This is the Orgasm. Is that what it's called or did I just make that up? Or no I didn't make that up so this is the few NARS products that I need to try before I put away and I really want to show you the floor because there's all these weird spots on the floor and I finally discovered what it is it's from when my friends are in here and we're drinking whilst getting ready can you imagine how funny it is getting ready up here um, normally the champagne or Prosecco goes all over the floor and it's kind of stained the floor but you know doesn't matter and then this is my little um sofa that I had made. Everybody asks me where I had where I bought this from. I actually designed this and when I say designed it I've had it for six years so it was at a time when I'd never ever seen anything like this and um, just a local guy in my village made it and when I had this in mind, I had it in my old house, but I just love it when Paris is sitting here and we're doing out, I'm doing my makeup and we'll have a glass of champagne together and then when my friend's around, we'll all sit here. So if you actually look at my New Year's Eve video, it all started here and the girls were all here and we were opening our presents. So that's the end of my beauty room tour. Uh, it was quite quick and simple, but I just wanted to show you around. When I'm on Snapchat or Instagram stories in here, I get a lot of questions of people wanting to see everything. So I hope I've answered enough. I hope you've seen it. And if you want to see more videos like this of my home, please leave me a comment. But more important, tell me what you want to see. But more importantly, please like this video and subscribe.
head because the more I grow, the more happy I am to share more of my life with you and I'm happy to do a house tour, maybe if I get to 100k, that's the goal. So that will be my thank you to you to, um... oh no, my new by Terry. Yeah, so basically like and subscribe and then that's the end of the video and that's the end of the video. You see I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed